During the pandemic, often the safest place to be was outside. Educators across the state refocused their emphasis on outdoor education, and now a new collaboration hopes to support those efforts. Keys to Trails and Maine's Department of Education are offering seed money to schools across the state to reinvigorate the work they do to get kids outside. I spoke with Alicia Hayburn, Executive Director of Teens to Trails, and Sarah Woog of the DOE. When we get kids outside, first of all, in the pandemic, um, landscape, it's safer, period. We, we know this. That's what the science tells us. So it's a safe way to connect kids. Also, getting them outside and getting them moving helps them engage in healthy risk taking, helps them work collaboratively to literally climb a mountain or to mm -hmm. cross a river. And so increase the students' feelings of community and belonging with their peers in a non-competitive environment. Sarah Woog is the Department of Education Project Director for WAVES, an acronym for Wilderness Activities and Virtual Engagement for Students. Alicia Hayburn leads Teens to Trails, which connects high school students to life-changing outdoor experiences and helps schools start and sustain outdoor clubs. The outdoors is a place of acceptance. It fosters a sense of belonging. And that is the lifelong aspect that we hope to engender in the students. WAVES is about increasing connections in different ways for teens and adolescents. So looking at how they can safely connect to each other in the outdoors, hence our partnership with Teens to Trails. And we're also looking at how to connect students virtually across the state. The role that Teens to Trails has played is to help schools start and then, and then operate really successful outdoor clubs. But it's always been a burden on the back of the, the faculty member or the staff member of the school who raises their hand bravely to say, I'll do more, more than my job description, more than I'm already giving, which we know is so very much. And often not only their time, but their personal expense gets invested into making this making outdoor time available for students. The WAVES initiative aims to provide seed money to schools for outdoor clubs and education. Outdoor education has both short-term and long-term benefits. When we open the door, we open minds. And if we can just think about how our bodies respond to time outside, I feel like stand up taller. Right? There's this sort of pride and strength. We get literally grounded. And then as we roll our shoulders back, our hearts open and our eyes are open and they're they're looking farther, right? We have this, this opportunity for for a longer view, like literally like take the long view, mm. see what's in your future, lean into your future. And what's wonderful through the WAVES initiative is that Sarah through, through the Department of Ed funding is able to pay schools to start these programs. And just that incentive is so strong. We've kind of fully embraced as a department the um, implicate the meaningful and wonderful implications of outdoor education in all facets of school life. Uh, so Teens to Trails partnership with WAVES is, is representative of that perspective that we are hoping to spread throughout the state and to embrace because schools did it really well this year. I think that the outdoors levels the playing field in many ways for a diverse uh, populations of students and also between the student and teacher relationships. Sarah and Alicia thought they'd be successful if they had 10 applications. And as of last week when we spoke, they had 43 applications. The kind of quadrupling of applications compared to our expectation is just a testament to the uh, dedication and pride of our educators in Maine. To have this groundswell of uh, educators wanting to increase opportunities for their students mm. after they had been increasing their capacity in so many different waves for, for over a year now. It was just, it was beautiful. It was inspiring. The WAVES initiative is already well underway with schools in 14 of the 16 counties represented. Applications will be accepted until the 17th of September, and we will, of course, include information on how educators can apply for this program in the 207 section of our website and mobile app, and we will be right back.